bitch can be happy. Hey girlies, your girl is back, y'all. As the title states, we are getting into a quick weave. Shout out to the doula for sending me these bomb bundles. I do have three bundles doing shorter lengths, so it requires less bundles. If you're doing super long, 30, 28, all of those, you might wanna get one more bundle. I'm working with 24, 22, and 20 today, and this should just be super easy. I haven't done one of these in a minute, so I'm so excited to jump into it. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, mama, so this is the hair, and as you can see, it's in its natural state. It's been sitting out for a minute, I'm not gonna lie to you, because I really have been doing other installs, and I truly wanna commit to this quick weave until I go out of town. Keep it in a side part because I like side parts majority of the time if I am wearing a install it's going to be in a side part it just makes my life a little bit easier I'm not gonna lie I'm gonna start on my leave out because I want to make sure I know how much I want to leave out I usually like to do V part leave outs because I don't really care to have that much hair out a little bit wider in the back though than the V part just not too too much so this should be good enough and when I go to install the wig I'm gonna kind of put the tracks falling frontwards so it can give more of a swoop effect. I'm going to leave like a little bit of hair out right here, a little bit out like for right here, just so we can make sure everything blends really nice. My favorite thing about quick weaves is that you don't have to have your hair braided perfectly under it. Now I'm gonna braid my hair down. pinning the rest up so it's giving real flatty on the vibe try to make as many braids so you can get a super flat install so when you're working with 24 22 20 they all look the same not gonna lie so i'm not really trying to figure out which one is 22 which one is yeah you know the vibes so i'm going to be using these just some simple black at least Try to make sure that it's good quality because you don't want anything rinky dink. I'm just gonna use one today so this bad boy can stay and do what we need it to do. So I like to work on all of this part of the wig cap, not the band part. So remember that. So I'm making sure that the band is over my ears too. But we didn't make sure I got me a white eyeliner. This is necessary, necessary. So I got mine from Wet n Wild. And I'm just going to trace over my part. You know, something like that. Part right here, a little part right there. Let y'all know what type of glue I like to use. I like to use the Salon Pro Black Hair Glue. She's always gonna come through for me. This is what this is what it looks like. Fold my ear, because if not, then I'm gonna be trying to fix that after. Ear to ear. A little, a little past ear. So I'm just applying the glue on the weft, a generous amount, but nothing too crazy. I like to press the ends of the web down real hard. Real hard, y'all. And as you can see, it's right underneath the bulk of my We don't we're gonna get to blow drying in a minute. I like to like finish. Sometimes I like to blow dry every single piece. But girl, we ain't gonna really do that today. If this is your first time, I will say blow dry every single piece but I know how much to put on my weft so I feel like I don't have to do that every single time. I want this to look super natural so I'll probably end up putting two and a half bundles in my hair. The key to a quick weave is to make sure you have enough tracks on the wig cap so it can actually stay 
once you remove the extra wig cap lace, you know? I do have another quick weave planned and I think I'm gonna do that one in the middle. We'll see. That's with longer lengths, so that's why I'm saying that. The hair feels really soft, y'all. Just to let you know if you were interested. measure this piece two times so I don't have to keep shaping it I just want this density to be long and then I'm gonna go grab my blow dryer finally yeah this is almost like the same length yeah we're gonna put all of that in the same area and it's going to secure this back half but I do like to brush the hair as I go just so we can get those pieces that may have gotten caught on glue out the way. And you can use a comb, but I would only say use a comb if you aren't super heavy handed. This is basically what is given off the first full 24 inch bundle. So you can see this is not enough hair. Two bundles is not going to cut it, baby. I'm going to detangle this. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, you guys. What I'm going to mostly focus on is just filling this up. I'm gonna start kind of curving it. I'm not gonna to go too straight across. I'm just going to start curving it a little bit to shape my head, but I'm going to stop when I get around this area, like right here, and then I'm gonna start working on this half so we can like do the opposite direction You'll see, you'll see. So we can start working on the bang.
exhausted guys it's late as hell i took a little break because i was so hot with all these lights but i had so much fun with this style because i was trying something new the curls kind of failed because like i said i did take a little break but nothing too crazy so i'm not going to re-curl anything right now but look at the part it's giving it's laid slayed all of that my hair is blending so nice because like i told you i got my natural hair jet black so, um, well, I dyed the bundles jet black so it can match my natural hair. So, I am feeling the look. Shout out to Nadula for giving the quality. Like, I don't know if y'all can really see, but, but the quality is there. I'm trying to tell y'all. So, I'll link everything you need to know in the description box below. A specific style or a specific technique that you want me to show you or you want to see if I can do in quick weave form, if that makes sense. Yeah, leave it in the comment section below. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video once again and I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys.